I'm Rick Dancer. What's happening downtown? We're here with Joshua Purvis from the Eugene Film Society. Um, so you've heard of TED Talks. Well, Eugene is going to have its own TAD Talks, which is kind of just a younger brother of TED sure, and sure, much sure. more urban and yeah. much more cool. Perhaps, yeah. So definitely TAD Talks, uh, Technology and Arts Downtown. Uh, it's an attempt to examine how technology and the arts encourage uh, economic development and community engagement in the downtown area. Uh, we're intending it to be sort of a quarterly social event series uh, with art exhibition and a speaker series. The uh, theme of the first TAD Talk is Downtown Eugene, a hub for millennials, how valuing creativity, community, and technology inform new ideas of work and play. It'll be here at Hi-Fi Music Hall on August 11th uh, at 5.30 p.m. Uh, very fortunate to be working with Technology Association of Oregon and Lane Workforce Partnership to be putting on this event. So what do you hope people get from this? Because it's, it's not just for millennials, because people, sure. people my age should, should, actually should come Absolutely. and listen Absolutely. and get some new ideas. You're going to offer people kind of some different ideas about how things work now, how, how to market Absolutely. to a millennial. It, yes, yeah. absolutely. And really the kind of focus on millennials is the idea of a fresh and new vision for downtown Eugene. Um, certainly those who have been in the area have seen sort of a renaissance take off. And part of that is the people who have played a part in bringing uh, new businesses and development downtown uh, are a little bit different than what we've seen in Eugene, right? If you look at places like the Barn Light um, or Townsend's T or a number of those Portland kind of uh, franchises moving in or the Bijou Metro expansion downtown. Uh, these are sort of kind of hip and more cosmopolitan uh, and have a, a particular appeal to a younger population, which we certainly have in the community with both University of Oregon and LCC being in proximity to the downtown area. Uh, so there's really no need not to open up to that community, especially with so many of them being in the community, but also leaving shortly after to go to Portland or Seattle or elsewhere. We're trying to encourage the idea that downtown Eugene is a happening place and there are jobs here and there's lifestyle here that appeals to you know, people under the age of 35 or even under the age of 40 or 50. Because I think for years this has been an older community where young people came and then they leave. And now we're seeing a whole group of people in your age group yeah. who are committed to this community and want to stay. And you're just looking for ways to keep them here, to Absolutely. keep them engaged. Absolutely. And I think it's good for people my age. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? Really, I think it's yeah. good for us to kind of figure out what you guys are doing because even with, you know, I, I, you're going to be the, the political leaders of our future. Yeah. And you guys have a little bit wider vision, I think, than some of us. And I, I, that excites me. In a way, I'm about to say, uh, you know, part of this conversation is, what are those values that are intergenerational? And when I think of community and creativity, I see those values already in play here in Eugene. But how do we mold that to support a 21st century economy and lifestyle? When we're looking at what types of jobs are going to be living wage jobs, uh, what type of an environment are we going to have downtown that supports sustainable urban development? Uh, so it's really about bringing a fresh vision uh, that incorporates ideas or values already in existence, but which is a, a way of looking forward. So again, when is it and where? Absolutely, yeah. So it's uh, August 11th here at uh, Hi-Fi Music Hall, 5.30 p.m. It'll be about a two-hour program. We're very fortunate to have a couple great uh, musical acts performing. We've got the band Edward. Uh, and then KI Design from the local hip hop group, The Architects, both performing. Also have photography from the Eugene Weekly, their photographers such as Todd Cooper, uh, Athena Delaney, and others who are going to be participating, uh, um, exhibiting the photography. All right, so that is coming up soon. So you don't have to register, you don't have to do anything, just show up and have fun and learn something. Absolutely. Do you mind if I make one more shameless plug real quick? Great. Sure. So the Eugene Film Society, uh, starting August 19th, we have an opportunity to screen three Spielberg films out on Kesey Square in partnership with Cultural Services City of Eugene. So uh, August 19th, we're doing Raiders of the Lost Ark, the first entry in the Indiana Jones series. Uh, the following Wednesday, we'll have E.T. the Extraterrestrial, and then we'll finish off on September 2nd with Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Again, this will be in Kesey Square, be a free screening, open to the public. We're going to have a number of great businesses participate, like Nicosia and Red Wagon, the Bijou, 
and then the City of Eugene Cultural Services again working with us to bring the series to the downtown community. I knew Spacey would come to downtown. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Where it all belongs with us. Absolutely. Hey, Josh, thank you. Thank you, Rick.